Hey everyone, uh, another video from the BGG Khan uh, behind the scenes. Uh, Meher Shah is right there and uh, can't wait to see who all he has been talking to. Can't wait for you to watch it. Over to you, Meher. Hey, hello friends. You're with the man himself, Mr. Tom Bassel. Wow. Surprise, I, surprise. Amen. Hey, man. Sorry, I even introduced him. He's a man which needs no introduction. Wow. So. I like board games a lot, that's yeah, what it means. Yeah, likewise, you know, so this is the bond that, sh that we all share out here. So, just me, I was curious to ask you a few questions. Uh, so, we're trying to grow this board game community in India. So, what can India do or what can board gamers do in India uh, to grow the community and, you know? It's, it's always hard for me, you know, every culture is slightly different. But I've, one of the things I found is just being friendly. That's what people like about board gaming uh -huh. is when you have someone over to play games, you want to be as friendly as possible because you want them to remember the game, but you also want them to remember the people. One okay. of the things we like about this con is how friendly everybody is. We're here at Board Game Geek Con. Yeah. Um, and if you someone comes in and you get mad that you lost uh -huh. or you, know, you make it a really boring game or something, uh -huh. that's not a fun time for people. You want to make it as entertaining. Uh -huh. You do that, people will come back. Fantastic. So, uh, as an initiative to uh, grow the board game community and spread awareness about board games, you know, it's a land of billion a billion people, so lots of opportunities there. Uh, last year, there was a, a small convention called MeepleCon, which this year is oh, growing. I heard about that. Yeah. yeah, which this year is growing, and hopefully, we, uh, we would like to continue the trend and you know grow every year. So, we. Hope to have you one day in India. Oh, Once, neat, that would be a neat place to go. Yeah, yeah we'll, sure. we'll, we'll gladly host you, you know, at, uh, at MeepleCon. Uh, my final question to you is, there's lots of budding game designers and publishers coming out of India. Do you have any tips or recommendations for them? Well, I mean, just keep playing games and trying. I mean, it's, gonna be, it's, it's a hard market right now. Yeah. There's thousands and thousands of games that come out every year. Uh -huh. There's almost a thousand games that come out some months. Yeah. So it's a hard market to break into, but just keep trying. You know, just keep playing more games. The more you play, the more you try. Um, it's an untapped market, obviously, you know, a billion people. There's going to be new ideas, and I fully expect sometime to hear that the, you know, oh, there's the Indian designer cadre, because that happened with Japan, and it yeah. happened with Korea, and it happened yeah. with Thailand. And yeah. So who's... And, and Indonesia just happened and now India is next, right? Well, it's very nice to hear some uh, words of encouragement from you. Uh, final, if, do you want to have a shout out to your fans in India? Do you want to say oh, anything sure. to your fans if in you India? Oh, sure. If you ever watch The Dice Tower, which is a show about board games, we appreciate yeah. it. We are glad that you guys watch um, and yeah, well, yeah, it would be neat to come to India. It's on my bucket list for yeah. sure uh, and you never know that might happen someday. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much for this. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, this is Mihir from BGG Con, and you're with me is Elizabeth Hargraf, the designer from Wingsman. I hope I pronounced your surname right. I'm very bad at that. Hargrave. Hargrave. Elizabeth Hargrave. <laughs> the designer of Wingsman, of course, she needs no introduction. Wingsman is the hotness everywhere. Uh, she's here with us. Hi, welcome to the show. Thanks. Uh, so, you know, my first question to you is, you know, there's so many... Uh, new and budding designers in India who are trying to design and publish their games. What suggestions would you have? What tips would you have for them? You know? It's hard. I, I, my advice that I give all designers is um, get it to the table as early and often right. as you can. Um, it's very easy to get stuck in your head like right. planning out the perfect right. game, but it right. never works the way you expect it to when you start playing it. So just get it on the table. Don't think about it too hard. And then once you start playing, think about it then, once you can really iterate and see how it's working. So how did you come up with the idea of Inspan and what was the uh, initial process like, right? From paper to to like the publication, right? Yeah, what was, so... What was that journey like? I started out really, I had already been playing games for years uh -huh. and I was really not excited about the themes of a lot uh -huh. of popular board yeah. games. Like I really enjoy the, yeah. the mechanisms yes. and like the, the thinkiness of them, but yeah. I don't care about castles and spaceships. <laughs> because they are so, not connected to the real world. Yeah, but yeah. that's part of it. I, yeah. think. I mean, yeah. castles are historically, but yeah. like not my particular reality. <laughs> so. 
Yeah, literally, my spouse actually said to me one day, what would it be like if there was a race for the galaxy but with birds? Yeah. And uh, my brain just latched wow. onto that and would not let it go. Nice. <laughs> so, uh, how many uh, iterations did Wingspan go through oh, to I reach its count. final form? I, total, in total, I was probably working on it for about five years. Oh my goodness. Yeah. The hard work paid off. Thank for you. sure, right? Thank you. Uh, and I think a lot of people just getting into it don't realize like how many iterations people go through. Yes. Uh, I, when I was starting, I had a lot of people say to me, expect to play test your game like a hundred times before it's ready to go. And I'm sure I was over Over oh, hundred, yeah. Easily. easily. So, we're excited for even more expansions coming out for Wingspan. Yeah. Finally, you know, uh, you know, what we've started in India to encourage the board gaming community is uh, a mini convention like a MeepleCon, of course, not as big as BGGCon, uh, but we just started. Baby Steps is the second or the third year, and it's growing every year, and we hopefully, uh, you know, aim to have it grow every year. And one day we would like to have you at MeepleCon as one of the guest designers. So what would you like to say to your fans in India or to you, uh, anybody who uh, follows you, uh, aspires to be a designer like you, any words that you have for your fans? I mean, first of all, just thanks for playing. It's, it's always such a thrill to see people from different parts of the world playing your game. Yeah. So far beyond what you could imagine when yeah. you set out to design a game, yeah. it's just like, what do I want to play? Yeah. Um, so yeah, thanks for playing, yeah. and I I really think that the board game hobby will continue to grow as we get more designers from different backgrounds because yeah, for sure. people design games that are interesting to them, and if uh, when you get more designers into the pool, you'll have more diversity yeah. in the games, and then people that are entering the hobby will find yeah. things that are interesting. Yeah. So yeah. it's exciting to, to see design communities popping up in different regions around the world. Yeah. I think it'll make a difference to the yeah. hobby overall. Yeah. That is exciting. So thank you for talking to us. Absolutely. And we are excited to have more and more interesting stuff coming out of your genius mind. <laughs> thank you. All right, thank you. <laughs> hey guys, this is me from BGGCon. And here is with me is the man who needs no introduction, so I'm not going to even introduce himself. You're not? No, I'm nah, nah, you, know, you need no introduction. <laughs> Everybody knows who you are. Okay, so uh, thanks for uh, doing this and speaking to me. Uh, uh, well, Mahir, I'm, I'm, we just met like two seconds ago, yeah. and you were telling me that yeah. you know you're, you're part of like India's growing gaming yeah. community. Yeah. And uh, I was just kind of fascinated by it, and just happy to sort of jump on here and talk to you a little bit about it. So I just wanted to talk to you, like, what can uh, the community in India do, the gaming community in India do to grow itself even more? Uh, what are your thoughts on it? Well, you know, I mean, that's it's, it's a very big kind of broad question, but yeah. the, the reality is a lot of the way that the hobby grows is organic. Okay. It's someone sharing it's something they enjoy yeah. with somebody else and then passing on. Now, the advantage yeah. that we have, I would say, in North America mm -hmm. is that a lot of these games are already in English, yeah. and so yeah. that barrier isn't there. Yeah. Now, I don't know, in, in India, is the language barrier a bigger challenge? Many, many people uh, speak English, but yet many of the youths, they do not know English. Like many of the backward people, uh, they still have no access to proper English teaching. So yeah, localized versions like Hindi language versions would uh, definitely help. Well, then I would I would think then the the YouTube community in yeah. India can yeah. probably help with that too. Yeah. If if they're bilingual, then they yeah. like I create tutorial videos, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for, yeah. Generally yeah. for an English speaking yeah. language, yeah. but also for other people as well. Yeah. And uh, that helps bring down that barrier. Yeah. The biggest barrier to the the fun in these games is yeah. that rule book. Rule book, right? Yeah. yeah. You gotta learn how to play, and you gotta go play it, yeah. and hopefully have fun doing it right so so speaking on rulebook that's yeah. a fantastic point we have fin we have lots of new publishers and game designers emerging out of India what would you suggest or uh, if, if you have any tips for them like what kind of rulebook should they have or what type of things should they have in their box or in the game so that it makes it more easily accessible to learn or teach or well I gotta like say that. the nice thing about this question is the answer is sort of universal okay. um, no matter what language it is because the biggest challenge, we still have this challenge all the time, okay. uh, is that 
the, the designer, they understand their game, they know how it works, yeah. and they take for granted that the other person doesn't know anything. Uh, you know? Yeah, and so the, the biggest right. tip that I can give you, if you are a designer yeah. uh, in India or wherever you are, yeah. is take your game. Once you feel like you've got it in a you know, completed form yeah. and you know yeah. how to play it, uh -huh. you've got to take that to a group who's never played it before. Uh -huh. And you've got to give them that game with your rule book, uh -huh. and you've got to not say a thing. Uh -huh. You've got to watch and observe and see how they play. And you will find out very quickly yeah. all the mistakes they're making, all the things that you right. took for granted. Right. And then those things, you've got to add those in your rule book, you know, to help make it smoother. And this, again, is something that people make the mistake of all the time. This is so insightful and fantastic. I'm so, so sure this tip would help so, so. many designers in <laughs> India. And finally, I mean, you know you have a big fan following in India. Anything that you want to say to your fans out there in India watching this video? Look, what I, would you like to say? I, I, I'll say this. I am so thankful for this yeah. uh, hobby yeah. because you and I, yeah. without a bunch of silly cardboard and plastic, yeah. Yeah. you and I would never have met. Never met. I would never yeah. be talking yeah. to you. Yeah. I wouldn't be talking yeah. to you watching right yeah. now. And yeah. so this hobby connects us across the globe. Across you know the globe. what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. I run sure. you and I know you're into gaming. Yeah. We immediately have a connection. And then I get to learn a little bit more about your life. How awesome Off screen, yeah. you're sharing funny yeah. stories with yeah. me about who you were. Yeah. Yeah. I would right. never know that without this yeah. hobby. And board games give us a chance to sit around a table yeah. together and share a, a meaningful, hopefully fun, yeah. enjoyable experience, but also get to know each other, know each other in a yeah. bigger way. Yeah. And I think that's really something special about yeah. this hobby. And I hope that that is something that you, you know, if you're new yeah. in the hobby, I hope you get to experience that. Yeah. If you've been in a long time, I'm sure you already have and enjoy it. So, and if, if some of you watch yeah. the show, thank you so much for that. I really yeah. appreciate it. All right, thank you for talking hey, to us. And thank you for taking the time. It was thank a you. pleasure, it really was. Bye right, now. Bye. Hi, we are entering the hot games room. So these are the newly released titles at Essen or just released titles and people are trying to get a demo of it. So let's show you how this looks like. So as you can see, there are lots of people already in here. There is Mr. Vassal. Lots of games already being set up. So there is the new Marco Polo. There is Alubari. There is there is on Mars being played here with with John Get Games. From John from John Get Games. Hi. <laughs> so there is Terra Mara. There is Echoes. Paladins. Lots of tables for Paladins. Uh, again, Marco Polo. You can see all of these tables are equipped with game toppers from Game Toppers LLC. Uh, this is Glenmore, the new Glenmore. Black Angel. Hey, players wanted. Do you, does anybody want to come and play? This is Crystal Palace. Uh, there is Cooper Island Bean set up out here. The new Azul, Azul Summer Pavilion. Uh, there is Barrage. And the new Orleans, Orleans Stories. Maracaibo, the new Alexander game. And there you'll see taverns of Tiefenthal. Um, there is Tom Vassal teaching Maracaibo. There are two tables of Magnificent.